the most important thing is look at your mission. What is God giving you as a mission? One, to be a medical missionary. It's not to be left to committees, but you individually. God has asked you, whether you're sitting here or you're sitting over in, in Africa or in India or wherever you're watching today, God has asked you to be a medical missionary. Good afternoon, y'all. Are you enjoying this weather? Isn't it beautiful here? Just we'd say just plum beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I'd like Robert to come back out and help me out. <clears throat> the human body has trillions of cells. Actually, some say 100, over 100 trillion cells. And what determines the quality of the cells in Robert's body is what? The blood. The blood is the fuel that runs his body. And there's two key, three keys that I look at for that blood. The first thing is, is we don't want to put bad stuff in the blood. Now, who has been on a mission trip? Okay, I'll be in Africa in two weeks. And if you're, let's say you're, where did you go, Robert? Philippines. Philippines, okay. Was there any, as you're there sharing Christ with the people, were there any kind of uh, rivers going through with, Oxen and cows and urine and feces and whatever? Yes, they were. Okay, and so let's say you wanted to wash that beautiful blue shirt and you took your Tide or whatever washing detergent you had and you took it out there and you washed it real good to clean it up and rinsed it in that nasty urine feces water. Is it going to still have urine feces in it? Yes. Yes. So first key is, as we look at the blood, we don't want bad stuff to go in the blood. Does that make sense? Okay. The second thing is we want to make sure what goes in the blood is what it takes to run Robert's body. It takes, it takes um, fats, proteins, complex carbohydrates. Well, in nutrition class, they told us carbohydrates, but I like complex carbohydrates. It takes vitamins, which are the catalysts that make the fats, proteins, and complex carbohydrates carbohydrates to work. Those guys, when running on eight cylinders, they work these guys on eight cylinders. But it takes something before that. It takes uh, minerals. Minerals have to be on eight cylinders to make vitamins to run on eight cylinders. They're both catalysts. Then it makes fats, proteins, complex carbohydrates work. But then it takes oxygen. It takes water. It takes hormones. It, the stuff that it takes must be in that blood or you just don't run right. But also, perfect health is perfect Circulation. So also, we need quality blood, but we need blood that runs well. It moves well. It perfuses well into his tissue. We have microcirculation. Now, we talked about the bad stuff that doesn't need to be in there. So how, to, how do we make sure that there's not bad stuff goes in there, but the good stuff goes in there? And so what you stick in there it's what you breathe here and so it's what you eat what you drink we talked about that last night didn't we it's what you breathe so let's say robert eats a twinkie robert's got twinkie blood robert's got a twinkie brain <laughs> robert eats chickens Ch robert's got chicken blood robert's got chicken brains <laughs> do you see how it works we are what we eat it's very very important Let's take it a step further. Who wants to be smart and bright and not forget where you put your keys? Yeah, but even more important, what did we just talk about? Distractions. Did we just talk about distractions? Is that what Elder Bart just talked about? Satan puts all kinds of distractions in front of us in order for us to discern to communicate with God, as we talked about yesterday, what's the most important organ in the body? Brain. The brain. And why? Because it's how we communicate with God. It's how we hear the Holy Spirit. It's how we do that communication that Elder Weiss was just talking about, where we talk to God. If that is not clear, if, that is, if the brain is not running well, 
functioning well, could there be a problem with discerning those distractions that Elder Vyth just talked about? Absolutely. Satan is going to throw everything at us that he can. We're talking about preparing the brain for battle. In order for Robert's brain to deal with the influence of Satan, does his brain have to be working well? Absolutely. Thank you, Robert. A couple of weeks ago, I was flying through Chicago. I try not to fly through Chicago because in the wintertime I might get stuck. Or one time I was flying out and, and the pilot, as, we're, as the gear is coming up, he says, oh, by the way, over the loudspeaker, we're the last plane that was cleared to leave because the icing is so bad. And I was right on the wing and I was looking out to see how is our icing situation. Or in the summertime, I've been stuck there because of bad storms. Well, i had gone out to California to speak and I was coming back from Sacramento and I went through Chicago. Now, normally I tell Walter, don't schedule me through Chicago. But this time he said, Dad, there's a big savings. If we go through Chicago, what should we do? I said, let's do it. I said, I don't want to get stuck there for a while. But I believe God sent me through Chicago to hear this statement. <clears throat> I got off the plane. I went over and I plugged in my cell phone to charge it up so I could let Mary Lou know that I was in Chicago. And... Um, then I, when I'd leave to go head on into Knoxville. And as I was standing there charging my phone on the, at this bench thing, there was a man standing beside me, and he was on the phone, and he was, he was from England. And he and his crew had just come over to America uh, to fix a highfalutin machine that was over in Colorado at a factory, a very, very expensive machine that had quit working because of Poor preventive maintenance. Anybody work in maintenance or industry and know how important it is for preventive maintenance? The machine was not working well. So he's on the phone with England and he says, you can buy a Rolls Royce, but if you treat it like a clunker, you got a clunker. If you treat it like a clunker, you've got a clunker. I believe that God developed our bodies as Rolls Royces. Would you agree? But if we treat it like a clunker, are we still a Rolls Royce? No. So let's take a look here. What is he talking about? So here is the platinum solid gold Rolls Royce. What do you think it costs? How about $8.5 million? $8.5 million. Well, that's a pretty cheap car. You've got the uh, Bugatti here. This Bugatti, it's got a price tag of $18.9 million. Do you think that they're going to take care of those cars? Are they going to do good preventive maintenance on those cars? God created you much more valuable than that Bugatti. Hi YouTube, I'm Walter Feit from Amazing Discoveries. If you'd like to learn more or you would like to subscribe, then click visit our webpage, donate, share, and we would like to hear from you.